Central Florida continues to be one of the world's most popular tourist destinations with more and more people traveling here each year. Orlando International Airport has already seen a 9% increase this year and it's taking steps again to plan for even more in the future. West Chew's Adrian Whitsett joins us live at OIA. Brett, Angela, do you remember the last time you came down to the, to the airport and how you got here, whether it was by a taxi or a bus or one of these shuttles that's coming here down the way? Well, soon you may have a different way to get to and from the airport. The Aviation Authority announcing updates to its $1.1 billion upgrade plan. In its short life, the Orlando International Airport has seen three major upgrades, each time preparing for millions more travelers. Now it's getting ready for a few million more with a $1.1 billion overhaul, the largest for the airport. And certainly with the most complexity and the greatest number of passengers that we've ever had. 15 different projects, everything from increasing baggage handling capacity and screening to new ticketing areas. All of these projects are intended to increase efficiencies, to replace aging equipment, and to redo facilities that are past their time. But the biggest change is south of the airport, a complex to host up to four train systems, including a $400 million network connecting travelers to the Orange County Convention Center. This expansion lays the footprint, next steps that ensures we become the city of the future for the south. Aviation Authority Board Chair Frank Krippenbacher calls it an exciting time and a growth the area needs. In some way, virtually everybody who lives in Central Florida and works in Central Florida is connected to this airport. That $400 million train from here to the convention center, yeah, it runs on magnetic levitation or maglev, so it won't even touch the tracks. It is all privately funded or supposed to be, and the company that's bringing it here says the first two cars should be here by next summer. Reporting live at OIA, Adrian Whitsett, West 2 News.